We're gonna, if, if everybody kind of get in a place where they can hear and yeah. we're not yelling. belting it out or. Gotcha. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. We've gathered in the presence of God today to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness the joining together of Jim and Emily, to surround them with our prayers, and to ask God's blessing upon them, so that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love for God. God created us male and female and gave us marriage so that husband and wife may help and comfort each other, living faithfully together in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health throughout all their days. God gave us marriage for the full expression of the love between a man and a woman. In marriage, they belong to each other and with affection and tenderness freely give themselves to each other. God gave us marriage for the well-being of human society, for the ordering of family life, and for the birth and nurture of children. God gave us marriage as a holy mystery in which a man and woman are joined together and become one. In marriage, husband and wife are called to a new way of life, created, ordered, and blessed by God. This way of life must not be entered into carelessly or from selfish motives, but responsibly and prayerfully. We rejoice that this marriage is given by God. Therefore, let it be held in honor among all. Let us pray. Gracious God, you are always faithful in your love for us. Look mercifully upon Jim and Emily, who have come seeking your blessing today. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon them so that with steadfast love they may honor the promises that they make this day. We pray in your name. Amen. Who is it that presents this woman to be married to this man. We do. Jim, having heard how God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter this covenant? Do you? I do. Emily, having heard how God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter this covenant? And to the family, do you give your blessing to Jim and Emily and promise to do everything in your power to uphold them in their marriage? Do you? I didn't know, Jim had mentioned that you um, might have something to read, so... Oh, no, well, but I do, I, 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 I think that uh, that scripture from Jer Jeremiah or Isaiah, where uh, the three chords, two are better than one, you know that? All right, well, I don't have it marked right now, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I've, I've got... I've got one from Genesis that I'd like to read, if that's okay right now. <laughs> this is part of the creation story. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the ground, the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to the man to see what he, could call, he would call them. And whatever the man called every living, living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle, and to the birds of the air, and to every animal of the field. But for the man, there was not found a helper as his partner. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. Then he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. And the man said, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman. 
we're out of man this one was taken. Therefore a man leaves his father and his mother and clings to his wife, and they become one flesh. And then from, um, from 1 Corinthians. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body, so that I may boast, but do not have love, the game is Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious, boastful, or arrogant, it does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful, it does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth, it bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end, as for tongues, they will cease, as for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part, but when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now, we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Jim and Emily, um, this is a big honor to be a part of this today. Um, as we talked this weekend, I've, I've gotten to, to uh, officiate a lot of weddings, but this is the first one for a real close friend of mine, and it, um, it means to me. And I was thinking about what I wanted to say, and I, I picked out those two references um, from Scripture because they speak to the fact that, um, that God created us to be in community with each other, and to not be alone. And that began Genesis and continued in our faith tradition in the church, where we are meant to live together, and it's not easy. Um, it will not be easy. There will be days that will be very difficult for us. Um, but there's something to be said for the commitment and the dedication and longevity and passion. And I pray that what you all are getting ready to say to each other today and the promises you're making will be something that you take seriously and that you reflect back on throughout your lives. When Paul was talking about uh, faith, hope, and love, these three, and the greatest of these is love. He was talking about a group of people who were first learning to be together and uh, recognizing that there were going to be divisions and disagreements. And his message over and over was love each other. And so for the little irritations, <laughs> idiosyncrasies, um, love each other through it. Love each other fiercely. Put the other ahead of you, always, and you'll be in good stead. And I look here, and we've got this beautiful city and this beautiful look at creation. And then as you look back that way, you've got a group of people who love you very much. This is your family. These are your families. And these are not just two families anymore. They're coming together as one. And they will be here for you as well. Lean on them. Lean on each other. And I pray that um, from this day moving forward, that there will be nothing that you guys can't overcome together. Your passions, you recognize that the two of you together are greater than you are apart. That you will lift each other up and support each other, following your dreams. Um, Emily, I've known Jim for 20 plus years, and uh, I love him like a brother. He's an amazing guy, he's got a heart. And I know that um, I talked to him last summer when he was first dating you, he thinks the world of you. And it makes me feel great to see my buddy. And I, w 
wish you all the happiness in your world and the lifetime of your birth. Amen. Alright, you're already holding hands. That's good. <laughs> good <way. laughs> Alright, Jim, please repeat after me. I, Jim, take you, Emily. I, Jim, take you, Emily. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. Your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Emily, repeat after me, please. I, Emily, take you, Jim, to be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both show it. Jim, would you please place the ring on Emily's finger? Repeat after me. This ring I give you is a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. Constant faith, constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay, let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, look with favor upon the world you have made and redeemed, especially upon Jim and Emily. Give them wisdom and devotion in their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a comfort in sorrow, a counselor in perplexity, and a companion in joy. Grant that their wills be so knit together in your will, and their spirits in your spirit, that they may grow in love and peace, with you and each other all the days of their life. Give them the courage when they hurt each other to recognize and confess their fault and the grace to seek your forgiveness. Forgive each other. Give them such fulfillment of their mutual love that they may reach out in concern for others. Grant that all who have witnessed these vows today may find their lives strengthened and that all who are married may depart with their own promises renewed. Enrich with your grace husbands and wives, parents and children, that loving and supporting one another, they may serve those in need and be a sign of your kingdom. Grant that the bonds of our common humanity, by which all your children are united one to another, may be so transformed by your spirit, that your peace and justice may fill the earth. Through your name we pray. Amen. My friends, before God and in the presence of this company, Jim and Emily have made their solemn vows to each other. They have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands, by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife. Those who God has joined together, let no one separate. and gracious to you, and may the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen.
Yeah, it's a nice thing. Yeah, real dry. <laughs> as dry as a...